Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh <coughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin In the name of Allah the most merciful and graceful All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The creator, provider, projector, curer, sustainer and we send salutations and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his entire household. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us and his renders us in, in his jannah. Expressing immense and immense of vehemence on this orgulous movement, revered scholars and my dear companions. Today, I'm here to share something on the topic Islamic solutions for global environmental challenges. Or may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala interpret in Quran. Wahar al fasadu fil bari wal bahri bima kasabat aydin nas. Indeed, disorder and mischief has appeared on land and sea because of that the hands of the man have earned. Islam has expressed great concern about the environment. In numerous and myriads of the verses from the Quran and the sayings of the Prophet Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam address this issue. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that خَلَكَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْلِ جَمِيعًا He had created for you all that is on the earth. It's for utilize and not for abuse. Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't prevent humankind from living in the luxurious living standard but it should be maintained without damaging or abusing that's only the matter which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said nevertheless beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam illustrated obviously and interdicted distinctly on planting trees and cutting down is uh, unnecessarily and the beloved point out that sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advantages of the planting trees that last until the death of the judgment once Ibn Masood anhu reports, reports. I, saw a ca I saw and caught a small bird. In this bird, I, I saw a two chicks. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam returned, the bird was flapping. And Prophet asked, who taken from the chicks from the flapping bird? And then you said, Masood replied, we are Rasulullah, we take it. And Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ordered to Give the back the chicks to the mother chick. I mean the chicken. And once, the same reporter, Ibn Masud said, I saw the anthill, which means the nest created by the ants, which usually we will sow in the trees or etc. Or box, etc. So once we saw the anthill, we burned it. When Prophet asked about the, the burn, we said, Prophet asked who burned this one? So the, so the Ibn Masrullah replied, We are Rasulullah. So the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Only the Lord of the fire has the right to punish with the fire. You are not eligible for the punish with the fire. You don't have to do such like practice and activities. And you'll come to the matter. How can Islam contribute solutions to the sustainability and mitigate the climate change risk? Or the Al JUC. Let's come to the point. The head of the innovation at Arabian Gulf University in Bahrain. Scholar in Sustainable Innovation and a member of the UN Global and Scientific Advisory Panel, or the Al JUC. He argues that, from his theory, I'm just taking the lens, lending the theory of his one. He's just said, he argues that the Islamic worldview represents a unique model for the transition to the sustainable development by focusing the justice, regrowth, and harmony between the human and the nature. We are able to adapt to the one of the what to say, the Islamic sustainable development, the Islamic concept, the Islamic theory itself. We don't just want to go another world. So he's just saying that, he says that, hence the overcoming, overwhelming crisis and the mitigating impact of the climate change. From an Islamic perspective, is underpinned by defining the roles of the humans as trustees and stewards, as a khalifas. This balance has been disturbed because of the humans. We, we only disturb the our nature. After disturbing one, this choice is in our conception, exploitation, our exploitation, and you were over use of the resources. The course of the values and integrated to protect the diversity of all form life. Ecological crisis is linked between the human activities and the values of the human actions. These two both are interlinked. 
from his theory, he just promulgated that. The extinct of species around us, which is similar coming is like, which is, which is similar coming it is like us. The, so after some words, after some times, the humankind, unless we change our world views, we will be also depleted from this world. We have to change our views and we have to change the consumption, the consumations, the over, -exploit, over exploitation. For, the, for this one, he revised to call the, he just concept, this theory was Green and Endowment Fund, which means to support a transition from the Wakf, from the money of the Wakf. He just uh, to support a transition to sustainable economy by promoting innovation. He, for that, he proposed three conceptual methods of the d three domain one, including first one, green jihad, which means green activism. Second one, al jihad, green innovation, and third one, green lifestyle, which means zuhud. To refer this as he refers this as a green jiz, which means representing is representing an Islamic response to climate change and embodying the concept of the degrowth. For this only, he just after that, this only Islamizing the just, just theory of the Islamized one. And the second one is general theory, as we all know, that the solutions, general solutions like replacing of the disposable items with the reusable items. And second one is the use of the paper should be avoided. And third one, conserv or conserving of water and electricity. And the fourth one, uh, support environment friendly practices. And the fifth one, recycle the waste to conserve the natural resources. This just so just rewind. This is the just a theory I'm ad adapted from this. His theory only by adapting such a theories, we can represent how the how the Islamic sustainable Islamic model of the sustainable development can implemented through our own views. Sorry for augmentation. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.